All right. And so, you know, originally the next fight that we had up, we thought was the co-main event, but it looks like it's been pushed to the prelims. So we're going to roll with that order based on the UFC uh, website. And well, so Tapology got... has it listed as that. Like, let's just say as who has it listed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. So uh, we'll, we'll have to see how it unfolds. Mm -hmm. But we got Omari Akhmadov against Tom Breeze here. So this is a nice middleweight bout. We got Omari or the Wolverine. And he comes in actually as the 14th ranked middleweight. That actually shocked me there. So he's definitely climbing the ranks. Um, he had won five in a row prior to his loss to Chris Weidman there. So, you know, he, he had been on a roll. We saw him beat Alassane. He took on High Knees, who I had to mention there. High Knees. Um, <laughs> so, you know, he, he'll be able to give Breeze everything he can handle. I believe he had a, a draw against Vittoria as well. Um, so, you know, we'll, we'll be seeing a, a good amount of him against Breeze here. Breeze, you know, he comes in with that 12-2 and two record. He's 1-1 one one in the UFC. He lost his uh, his debut, I believe, against Brendan Allen. And then we saw him bounce back just recently against KB Bilar, um, you know, who took that fight in short notice. It seemed like he was very much out of the realm. By the way, did I ever tell you that he's actually Azim's cousin? <laughs> no. I mean, yeah. Hakim Daoudou's uh, Sadek's boy. <laughs> Yo, Calgary man's roll deep. Yeah, yeah so, so this one's in Edmonton. His wife is from Edmonton. And yeah, that's actually her uh, her close cousin. So even he was telling me he's completely outmatched in this one. Yeah, it's one of those things where I, I feel like you know, the UFC is going to have to match people up with who they want. You know, keep it well. Mm -hmm. Let him know for an Indian man. He's got a really solid body. You know, he's got good size for the division. Um, but, you know, you did say one thing. The one thing I want to mention is, you know, also kudos to uh, KB Bular, but Breeze is actually an even older UFC vet, right? Like, funny enough, he ended up putting together a 4-1 UFC record pack in the day till like, what, 2018? So he actually lost to Son Strickland by split decision. My boy. Oh, interesting. Yeah, all right. Prospect before the motorcycle accident and all that stuff. So Tom Breeze is actually a very well-acclaimed MMA fighter overall. Like he's he's mm -hmm. been in the UFC before. His UFC record is actually very impressive. Uh, Kibi Bular had a tough fight on him, and it was after the the Brendan Allen loss, right? So he was taking on a very vengeful uh, version of Tom Breeze as well, right? Breeze, so yeah. it, it's one of those things where he had a lot of time to prep for his next fight. It doesn't matter who it was, and Tom Breeze mm -hmm. has been doing this for a very long time. So that takes me right into the analysis for this fight, right? When you think about it, we talked about the finish earlier in the year, and then we talked about the fight with with Bular. I was actually going to mention before you told me any of this stuff. I actually don't think that we can judge that fight very fairly because I think no. that was like a, a situation where you just saw a heavily, heavily, heavily experience. Like that, that should have happened in the gym. You know what I mean? That should have been for KB Bullock to experience, if you will. You know, for that to be the L on his yeah. record, it is what it is. Uh, that's the game, right? So at the end of the day, he took the fight. It's going to be the best experience he's ever gotten so far, and, and he's going to learn from that. And, and I think Breeze himself is now looking at someone who – is what one of the more uh, veterans when it comes to UFC fighters? When it, uh, we love these Dagestani fighters, you know he's been there for a yeah. while. He brings that dog style, likes to strike. But you know, you brought up Marvin Vittori. The way I feel about that is Marvin Vittori was still kind of on the rise. I think right now you're seeing prime Marvin Vittori, which means like this was you know still prospect type of time. And you know he did take him to that draw. Uh, I think Whiteman just just outshined him in that third round. He was able to out grapple him. He just completely outclassed him in that third round. Whiteman sold that fight beautifully. Uh, he deserved mm -hmm. it. Kudos the veteran for for making a solid comeback like that he needed that win uh, and i think he's gonna now be you know i gonna be a very hungry fighter now uh, it is what it yeah. is i still think you know breeze is gonna bring it bring bring his a game i really do I, i'm really curious to see where you land on this one because this is a is a tough one to call man this is gonna be a it's gonna be a tight one so in terms of line wh where do you see the favorite landing yeah, uh, you know what? It's funny, right? I, I, I so just want to give the edge to the Dagestani fighter, but at the end of the day, I think I think Tom Breeze has done enough recently to 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 merit uh, what should be the favorite. But you kind of inched me away from my uh, current number, <laughs> so I'm gonna actually put Tom Breeze as, as a minus one fifteen favorite here. Oh wow! I'm I'm giving man, you are on a fucking roll today, oh, man. Yes. Fire it up! Fire it up! <laughs> <laughs> so he actually opened as a minus 135 favorite, <laughs> right in line with what you expected. And since then, it has actually moved. If I look online right now, he's a minus 150. Bro, my original line was minus 145. <laughs> you would have hit it both ways. You yeah, would have hit yeah. it both ways. You told me. You told me it was a. You kind of. You really did play that. I guess. I guess you didn't expect me to be that close in the odd. You know, no, absolutely not. Yeah, yeah. It's so funny. But yeah, original line was minus twenty forty five. So I think that's hella accurate. I think 
he definitely deserves it. I think what Ekmanov is going to bring to the table, I Breeze is going to be ready, and it, and it's going to be about mixing it up. You know, these are the kind of guys that have to mix it up. It's going to be a true MMA fighter fight. They're going to be elite. Mm-hmm. I can't wait to see this one. Agreed. Agreed. Hella underrated I, fight for this card. Yeah, I have no idea where it's going to. That's why Tapology has it as the code mate. <laughs> they don't even know where the fight is. <laughs> That wraps up UFC Fight Island 8. You know, make sure you hit that subscribe, hit that bell button. All our information's below, Instagram, Twitter. Give us a follow, like, subscribe, shoot us comments, whatever you need. Anything else you want to plug here, Suraj? I mean, plenty of dogs on this card, so it might not be as exciting as some of the picks that we released for the upcoming card on Saturday, but keep an eye out. This card is a lot of fun, fun, fun fights. Forget the gambling stuff. This is a very fun card to watch. You got two contenders, you know, headlining, and like Pi said, like, follow. We got plenty of MMA stuff coming out, and as always, man, it's always a pleasure, man. Love doing this shit with you. Can't wait to keep going. Likewise, brother. And yeah, like you said, man, we get this on a Wednesday. It's a real treat. We're going to have to sacrifice watching the challenge that night, but... uh you know, we get a nice UFC treat on a Wednesday. So enjoy it. And yeah, always a pleasure, brother. My man, take it easy. Peace. Later.